Alrighty, I've got a new confetti box that I am excited and dying to show you. I've seen a couple of different versions this month, so I'm excited to find out which version I have. And to start with, I've got an outfit of the day. So let's uh, get this started and I hope that you stick around and join me. was a gorgeous fall day today started off in the 40s so a little chilly had my scarf on got to be i think like maybe a high 50s so not too bad of course i got home and it was already dark so got out of mowing the lawn again but anyway so this is the outfit i wore today and to start with i've got this uh, plush scarf on it's a black navy and uh, cream colored scarf from plush that i got from my fab fit fun box the peplum jacket that I'm wearing. It's a faux leather jacket from Jilly, G-I-L-I, -I, from uh, QVC. And it's got this cute little uh, peplum detail. So it kind of gives me the illusion of having a waist because I really don't have one. It's machine washable and it is so, so soft. And this, they still got it on sale. This, I believe they've got two colors. One's like a really pretty shade of purple, a deep, deep purple. And then kind of like a cordovan brown, maybe like a caramel kind of brown color. Those two are $44. And then they've got six that are like $66. So they've got this black, a cream colored one, a green, and a red. And those ones I believe are 66 And this weekend it's uh, six evil pay on QVC. So I've got some really nice varieties left. So anyway, this was the jacket that I wore today. I've got on this uh, graphic t-shirt from Kohl's. I got this online. I believe it was $9.99 at the time. Not sure if they still have some available. And again, it's coffee, coffee, please. And the jeans that I'm wearing are also from Kohl's. They're the apartment nine jeans. These are the darker of the two washes that I got. They are high-waisted. They do have these pockets that go down there. I guess I shouldn't stop complaining because that seems to be all people make these days. The shoes that I'm wearing are from QVC. They are the Earth Shoes uh, with the new buck leather in black. I don't see these on their website anymore. The jewelry, because you know I've got to have some jewelry on. So I've got my Touch Tone Crystal Jewelry. I got this last summer, I believe. And I think the month after I bought it, it kind of got retired. So this is not available right now, but I love this. It's on like a leather chain. So it kind of still looks nice with the crystal, but gives it a casual vibe. Vibe. I've got, of course, some ice bracelets on. So I've got four different shades on. I got my black uh, wrap bracelet on with some crystals. A uh, tanzanite ring in purple. My lunar ring. And this eclipse ring in black. Not sure if these are going to come out or not. They're just very, very pretty. And of course purple. And the ice bracelets. So that's my look for today. So now let's get into the confetti box. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to be sharing my confetti box with you or confetti unboxing with you. And I am even more excited to see my subscribers come back again. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. To anyone that's new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and visit again. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and i'm excited so let's get into this box but first i forgot to mention that i was wearing earrings again so i've got on these touchstone crystal lulu earrings i believe these are called silver knight and of course these uh the nails my color street nails i need to change them out more often than i do because i have got some awesome awesome uh halloween nails that i want to put on but anyway let's get into the confetti box so this is a bi-monthly subscription. You get it every other month for $19.99. Uh, 
and five dollars for shipping you get about eight items in here and they're going to be stationary items or fun novelty items some gift giving items usually they include one as one of the items is some kind of gift bag and some packaging so if you can have some uh, gift ready bags to be going Alrighty. so inside this And they had two different boxes this month. I got the brown ones, but some people had the uh, white ones that we started with. And you get, take my bag out here, tons of this sparkly confetti, which is great for filling up your own gift bags when you send out gifts. So that comes in handy. And my bag is falling apart, but there's my confetti with the sticker so let's try to open this don't know why i try to be careful with it it's not like i'm going to reuse that label but you can always reuse the tissue paper so that's nice to try to be careful with it and there's my box so it's surprise and the theme is the treasure hunt box and like i said i've seen a couple of unboxing and they've all been different so it's kind of nice to see some different items come through even though, say, if you're new to this uh, thing, uh, this uh, confetti box subscription, and you've seen someone unbox something, and you say, oh my gosh, I want that, let me sign up right now, and then you might get the other one. So it's got its positives, and its negatives. Alrighty. So I've got, I'm just sitting on this footstool again, so I'm just going to try to balance everything. And first we've got some more file folders, so kind of like a summer fun theme with some toucan birds. Is that toucan Pete from the Food Loops commercial? Is he still on the Food Loops commercial? But anyway, the file folders are pretty. They're good for the office. They're good for your home office. You get some labels. And it looks like we got maybe three each of three different ones. So this first one says list. And again, it's these ferns with these pretty birds. The next one is notes, again with that bird. And the last one is a pink striped one. That says files. So whether you take these to work or you use them in your home office, whether you're paying bills, it kind of makes it fun because let's face it, nobody likes to pay bills and file things, but this at least makes it look a little bit fun. Next, we have this sleep mask. It says, wake me up when the booze cot comes around. So this is kind of cute. So if you're the type of person that maybe travels a lot and you want to try to catch a little snooze in before the uh, booze cart comes around, maybe if you see, if you have this on, the uh, stewardess or steward will wake you up so you don't miss your chance to have a cocktail. Because let's face it, mixing, miss, missing your cocktail is no fun. Alrighty, so we get uh, some curly Q ribbon and then some more ribbon in pink to wrap up your gift. It's weird. And we got um, some pink hearts. See our Gibson. There's 43 ply beverage napkins in here, so they're pretty pink. Through that side with some hearts on it, which is kind of weird for the fall because when you look at this, you think of this would be something you might see in your Valentine's box in February, January, or February to get ready for that. So, so that's odd, not bad. Uh, everything in its place. So, we got this uh, China navy plate, everything in its place, it's gold on the back. And this would be good, say, if um, you're like me and you still uh, hand wash your dishes because you don't have enough to run the dishwasher to take off your rings and put them in here. Or when you go to wash your face at night, maybe put your rings in there. Or when you go to bed. Or if you have teeth that you need to take out, you can put your teeth in here. Everything needs a place to go, right? This is cool. we got a bottle opener. So it's, again, it's that pink to go with the napkins. Kind of like a mauve pink very very light so this, and if you say if you didn't uh, really need a bottle opener it might make a good key ring maybe for my lawnmower or my car 
and I love this box. So I've got a couple of these already on the same idea. So this is notes. This is a pretty floral. And again, this is more like spring than fall to me, but that might just be me. And then you've got some note paper. There's 200 sheets in here. So it is a good size. And as you can see, it's a good size. And when you run out, it's the box will be good for storing maybe some jewelry, loose jewelry items, maybe some office supplies on your desk, like maybe paper clips or some, well, you never know. I'm sure you can find something to put in there. Oops. And lastly, in fact, the whole box is going to fall over, is the gift bag. And this we've got a pink flamingo. You get it. It's kind of like an odd bag. It's like a little winter for Valentine's Day in the February, but summer with the flowers. Summer with the flamingo. So just an odd kind of mix that they put in here. So maybe that's why they call it a treasure hunt. But anyway, this would be good for gift giving, whether you're giving away uh, one of your favorite bottles of wine or some spirits, and then you get some confetti to put in here and fill it up so it doesn't break on the way, some ribbons to put on it. So it does come in very handy. They do have some awesome and, and some cute things in here for $19.99. I think it's a great price. For me, I just think it was an odd box this month. And I think in my head, I'm thinking you get it every every couple of months and everything that you see lately on seasonal boxes. So I think I was thinking more fall items and Halloween themed items and things like that. So for me, getting a mix of the seasons was a little kind of odd. Not that I'm whining. Okay, so I'm whining. But not that I'm ungrateful for because I think it's cute items. I think I'm going to use just about everything in here. Just what are, you, what are your thoughts on the box this month? If you've got your box this month, what are your thoughts about the items that are in it? And, or did you have uh, kind of like expectations like I had that it was going to be fall themed and Halloween themed? So anyway, that is my box. I am excited for it. I did get some cool things. It's a great price. Um, and anyway, it's the end of Friday night. Um, going to go to work tomorrow for a little bit. That's so I can get out of doing the lawn as much as I can, and maybe my neighbors will do it for me. I left the keys in the tractor so that if anyone says, well, maybe her lawnmower is not working, and they say, oh, the keys are here, let me start it, maybe they will just uh, do it for me. I put a, I built up the gas thing, and I put a thing of gas next to it, too. What do you think my chances are that someone's going to walk in my backyard and do it for me? It could happen. It could happen. So anyway... Thanks everyone for joining me. I really appreciate you stopping in. It's been a lot of fun sharing this with you. And I hope that everyone goes out this weekend and has a fun weekend. I look forward to your comments and I look forward to watching your videos. So we'll chat again soon, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.